Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 25, the very last episode of Code Geass. Ah, uh, the, the first season anyway. <laughs> Still have the entirety of the second season to go, but... Oh man, I won't be able to get to that anytime soon, so that's a little disappointing. Um... We see Euphemia's... I mean, not Euphemia, uh, Cornelia's... Uh, Geass there. I mean... I've been referring to these as kiosks. Hope not. I really hope. Actually, this is one of the reasons that I avoided a spoiler one time. <laughs> because, uh, I kept referring to these as, you know, mentally as kiosks. They're nightmares. No, yeah. No. They're nightmares down there. Uh, probably still alive. I don't think uh the spear or whatever pierced the little uh passenger box that every nightmare has. So she's probably still alive. Otherwise I wouldn't really focus on it, I think. She would just have exploded or something. Um the the <laughs> the guy who did that exploded, so he's dead. No way to avoid that. That was like a direct hit. So, uh, I don't know if we're going to get a, uh, an OP this time. Probably not. This would be a time to, you know, not show one. And hopefully everything kind of, like, ends in a non cliffhanger way. You know, in a satisfying way where I can actually just well, I'm still curious what's going to happen next, but I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I'm being left in the dark until I watch the next season. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start this. Ah, uh, okay. So they already had suspicions. Marianne the Flash. Hmm, she's answering every question. Uh, hmm. I kind of thought that once he asked the first one, the Gios would be used up. He didn't say anything like, answer all my questions. He just asked the question directly. So I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Maybe the one command thing is restrict- is, uh, the restriction of the one command thing has been lifted. Or maybe, you know, that's just how it's working right now. <laughs> Wait, what was revealed right now? Why did you withdraw her escort? Okay. So maybe she knew she was going to die and kind of, and she asked her to leave out of protection for her, maybe. Yeah. No. How does she know that? Uh, 
Uh, you what? Okay, so this is coming into play now. What evil fortune? What? Okay, I kind of like this guy. <laughs> oh, okay, she's, uh, she's staying there. This guy's so over the top. Oh. Oh. oh, they did include it. You know what? I'm going to watch it this time. This is really the show that uh <laughs> that almost every single Chunibyo in anime has probably seen and is imitating with all those poses and dramatic uh man that's no. um what was I saying dramatic poses and dramatic speeches and tragic backstories and all that. I have a feeling that maybe the uh, opening has changed over time, because this is including stuff that, uh, that, um, happened recently. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Lelouch is such a chunibyo. Uh, I mean, he's gonna get out of that. I'm, I'm almost 100% absolutely sure that uh, he's gonna escape. I mean, we have an entire season to go. We can't, we can't tie everything up with a bow here. That's the weirdest gee house I've ever seen. Um, nightmare I've ever seen. <sighs> you know, these robots do feel like they would be called geasses. <laughs> yeah, if the missiles didn't get them, that's not going to get them. That's like a really slow moving thing.
So is that uh, nightmare like stuck in that pose? Okay, just shoot him now. Stop talking and shoot him. Well, dead. Don't shoot the cat, just shoot the guy! I really feel that she's gonna probably gonna be the next love interest for uh <sighs> for Suzaku, which uh It's all your fault, cat. Is she going to tell him who, who uh, Lelouch is? I had a feeling that maybe he already knew ever since uh, Vivi talked to him. But maybe not. I wonder if she's going to survive. Oh, she's getting a new arm. That's good.
Is that Nina? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> that water looks terrible. It's very convenient how Nunnally is always <laughs> unconscious during these times. Or maybe she was geosed into uh, fainting or something. A lot of crime. Oh. Hold on. Well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go back seconds. There. No. World War One. Yeah, World War One trenches. Okay, that's way before World War One. I. I think it was like the Middle Ages or something at one point. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the only way for that to be true is if uh, he also achieves immortality somehow. Oh, so it's uh, ammo-based. Or maybe that's just how much energy they had left to spare. Alright. I do wish the did focus on their, you know, relationship a little bit, their, like, day-to-day -day life. But that's not the type of show this is.
Yeah, they're severely lacking in some zero right now. <laughs> this is going to end on a cliffhanger. I'm super sure of that now. There he is. I wonder what would happen if he just told them that he lost control of his power. <laughs> oh, that was a good shot. Dun, dun, dun! So he was told, maybe. Surely. Hmm? Also, it looks like Soccer Diet is pink. <laughs> Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. Are you serious? The season ends like this. Uh, I have a feeling that maybe Karen shot uh, <sighs> Suzaku. Or that uh, Suzaku missed or something, because Lelouch can't die. He's the main character. Uh I don't like this ending to season one. Ugh. I mean, it's fine if I was just going to watch the next episode. I'm not. Ugh. Really wish I had more time to record. 
And then I could catch up with everything and then finish Grand Logon. And then get right back into... Well, no, there's other things... Oh, man, this is going to be such a long time. <sighs> you know, and maybe if I had more time, I could do, like, two shows that I'm watching on my own. Hey, maybe if I'm lucky, <laughs> someone will uh, request this on Patreon for the second season. Ah, uh, well. I was right about uh, Suzaku surviving into the second season, because I'm sure he's not going to die here either. Even if he does get shot by Karen. And there's a whole Nina thing. Oh, man. I'm sure that's going to drag on into the second season, too. Hopefully, a sniper takes out the crazy person inside that kiosk there. And nobody has to explode. I have a feeling that maybe he's, there's going to be a lot of backlash, you know, on the choice that Zero decided to take right now to save Nunnally. Instead of, you know, staying with all of his troops. Because they seem pretty lost without him. I'm surprised that, you know, a proper temporary chain of command wasn't really thought about. Because, you know, if he's missing, people should be easily able to accept that he's missing temporarily and just do the things that they're supposed to do. They were a bit too quick to believe that he had just abandoned them. I don't know. At first I was a little surprised at, you know, Karen's... What I thought was an overreaction to Zero being Lelouch. But it made sense since I thought about it a little bit more since... It's the whole race thing. Because now, to her, it seems like he was just using them for some sort of Britannian reason. Also, Cece blew up, I think, but that's fine. She, she can handle it. <laughs> uh. I'm surprised at the kiss there, because there hasn't been any real, like, romantic vibes at all between Lelouch and Cece, aside from like a few sentences here and there during dramatic moments. I mean, what I think the series needed the most was more, a lot more, lighthearted moments. But that isn't the kind of show this is, as much as I would like it to be. Not that I actually think it's bad. Or I, I have enjoyed most of it a lot. Even though it's not the type of show I like the most. Because it was done well, for the most part. I mean, without Nina, it would, it would be a, a great up, definitely, but... It's still pretty high. I mean, for the first season, I would probably rate it like a 7. I know that that probably seems really low to most people. And without Nina, I'd beat an 8. But <laughs> just the fact that it's so dramatic and serious all the time, to me, that's something that I just enjoy less. And the scoring is based on how much I'm actually enjoying it, so... You know, that and combined with the good things that it's done. You know, how well things are pulled off. And for the most part, it has done a very, very good job of... Uh, coming up with new plot points and then wrapping them up 
fairly quickly. It doesn't drag things out, which I really appreciate because, oh man, if the drama was, <laughs> was drawn out, it would just be kind of torture for me. But I'm glad that, you know, if something comes up, I can, I can probably be relieved that it'll be solved soon enough. Unfortunately, you know, the longest problem that, you know, the longest problem that has gone on for me, that I would want to end is the Nina thing. And that's the reason a whole great, you know, a whole letter or a uh, number grade and drop the show. Because I don't want to see more of her. Oh. Uh, there's, I mean, there's also this whole Gios thing, which I didn't consider magic. I just thought it was like a psychic power. Uh, which I don't consider magic. I consider like some sort of like You know, mutation. It's a sci-fi thing, in my opinion. You usually see psychic powers more in sci-fi things than in fantasy. So I don't consider it magic. But then this whole, like, ruin thing started coming up, and that felt more like magic. Or maybe it's like, you know, technological magic. Kind of like something from a civilization so advanced that seems like magic but it's just advanced technology which somehow integrates perfectly into humans or maybe it doesn't and you know that's why the defects of the Gias appear you know the, the loss of control <laughs> but man <laughs> Oh, man, I would like to have that immortality Cece has. To me, that seems, like, awesome. There's this whole thing about, you know, uh, watching people you love die and just seeing everything pass you by, but still, you, you get to experience all those things. And there's always more chance to experience more things. So I don't... Yes... Seeing people you love die sucks. But living a normal life, you experience that anyway. So you do experience more sadness, but then again, you also experience more happiness too, because there's more opportunities too. So I think, you know, in my opinion, immortality is awesome. And there's so many things that I would rather live to be able to see than just die and not see them at all. I think it's worth it. Uh, but before I start, you know, <laughs> going on a rant about immortality and how much I would want some, <laughs> I think it's better for me to end this until I start this series again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.